Hello everybody and welcome to my June, April, May, June, yes June, TBR. This is my very first TBR and we'll see how it goes. I'm going to try and follow the rules that I sort of set up in my first initial sort of introduction video of breaking up genres and breaking up series. Um, they may not totally apply to these books, but I'm going to try and get these books read in the month of June. So here we go. So the first book that I want to get read in the month of June is a book called The Highly Sensitive Person by Elaine N. Aaron. Um, so this book is geared towards um, HSPs, or Highly Sensitive Persons, and sort of how they can help, how to help them sort of get through life. And she has like a quiz in there to determine whether you're a highly sensitive person, which I am. Which doesn't always mean that you're more emotional, it just means that you're really sort of... Well, it means a lot of things. It means that you're really aware of your surroundings, or changes in your environment, or clothing that you wear, or sounds, things like that. But you also do tend to feel things very keenly, and all that good stuff. And so anyway, she talks about in this one how it's not always a negative thing but how to handle it when you feel like you're overwhelmed in like this world that bombards you with so much stuff. So, The Highly Sensitive Person, that's the self-help book that I'm reading this month. Um, and I'm excited to read it. Um, I tend to annotate the heck out of these books. I already started to read it a little bit, so we'll see how far I get in this one. Uh, the next book I have on my TBR list is Lemon Tart by Josie S. Kilpack. So there's like 12 books in this series. It's kind of, she's a mystery novel writer, um, but these are all culinary mysteries. So they all are based around cooking and have to do like with cooking somehow. So all of her books are named after desserts of some kind or treats of some kind. And so this one's called Lemon Tart. It's the first book in her in that series. And I think you can just read them on their own. I don't think you have to read them in order. Like most mysteries, um, you can just kind of read it whenever. So this one, apparently, her neighbor gets murdered and her son goes missing, or like the neighbor's son gets, goes missing, all while a lemon tart was being cooked in her oven. And so it's kind of kind of a funny little, I'm sure, a lighthearted mystery. So we'll see how this one goes. And um, my mother gave me her entire collection of the series because she was getting rid of them. So I've got, seriously, there's like 12 books, 12 books down there. I have to show you the stack sometime, but this is the first one in that series, Lemon Tart by Josie S. Kilpack. Uh, next book I'm going to be reading in the month of June is Smile by uh, Raina Tel... Eljamir? Mir? Tel... I don't know. You can, there you go. So Smile is a graphic novel based around her experience at the dentist's office and having to go through... Um, I think getting braces and all kinds of fun things. I've actually read this one before, uh, but it's for my book club. So I'm going to be reading this and it's going to be a pretty quick read just because I think I, you know, I think you can read through it in one sitting because I think I did that the first time. So I do have another couple other books that I'm going to read this month. I kind of plan on reading a book a week. So leaving myself time and space to throw in other books if I, you know, depending on what I want to read. So this one shouldn't be too hard to get through, but it's a fun one just because I've been through braces and so it's really relatable. Uh, next book up I'm super excited to read. Um, it's called Furthermore by Tahara Mofti. So I have not read her Shatter Me series, but I've heard a lot of good things about her and her writing. And I saw the cover for Witchwood. And I was like, ooh, that looks like a good book. And then it said, you know, written by the same author who wrote Furthermore. And so I looked up the cover for Furthermore and I was like, that's a beautiful cover too. And so I really am interested in um, learning about this book. I kind of was going in a little more blind on this one because I, I can't remember. It's something to do with color and this girl, let's see, it's been almost three years since the day father disappeared from Farinwood. So I'm assuming this girl has a missing father. I kind of just want to dive into it and not really read what it's about because it just looks like a beautiful story, but I know that there's something to do with color and that's why like she's white and everywhere else is like colorful. Anyways, I'm really excited to read this one. I think it's beautiful and I think it's 
gonna be a lot of fun. All right, the next book I have is a big old chunker that we'll see if I get to it this month. Um, I'm hoping that with reading a graphic novel, that'll kind of give me some time to read it, and that is Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. Um, I am a Brandon Sanderson fan. I love Way of Kings. I have not read the second or third book yet. I adore Way of Kings. I started Mistborn, but I couldn't get into it, which I'm going to restart it at some point um, because I really want to read everything in the, the Cosmere of Brandon Sanderson's worlds. So, but I'm going to read Warbreaker before I dive into Words of Radiance because I hear that if you read this one, there's a little snippet at the end of Words of Radiance that is a reference to people in Warbreaker. And so I kind of was wanting to read them in order and stuff so I can get that little Easter egg. Um, Warbreaker, it's hard to describe, so I'll just read it to you, I guess. Uh, Tetlir, capital of Halendrin, is a colorful city by the sea where gaily dressed crowds bustle through sunny streets and worship heroes who have been reborn as gods. Ruled by the silent, mysterious god king, the Pantheon is nourished by offerings of breath, the life force that keeps them alive and youthful. Exiled in Idris, the formal royal family reluctantly betrothed a princess to the god king. Arriving in Tetlir, she finds both the city and the marriage are not at all what she would, what she expected. Her only ally is Lightsong, a god who is skeptical of his own divinity, who fears that war with Idris is inevitable. Meanwhile, another new arrival in Tetlir, one who bears the sentinel sword Nightblood, makes cunning plans based on the unique magic of Halendrin, which uses color to focus the power of breath, plans that could change the world. So his magic systems are really complicated and really cool. And so I started, to, again, this is another one that I started and I'm, you know, really fascinated by it. So I'm excited to start this one, but again, taking a break from fantasy, gonna read some self-help books, then kind of bust into a mystery, then kind of throw myself back into fantasy. So I'm pretty excited. That is my uh, monthly TBR for the month of June. So I will see you guys at the end of June. Maybe in between there, I might just give you guys updates on what I thought about the books. We'll see how it goes. Um, but that's my June TBR. If you guys have any questions about these books, uh, let me know down in the comments. And I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.